So here are, there's one of the sides of the cabinets. Okay, and I have a dado down here that's gonna receive the bottom portion of the cabinet, a rabbit in the back for the back panel, and just the little uh, stopped rabbit up here for the front or the top front stretcher. And then I have some pocket screws here, and that's gonna hold the face frame on. And the face frame is gonna be a uh, poplar. Okay? And then the back panel here, it just has a groove along the back or a dado along the back for the bottom of the cabinet. Okay, nothing fancy, nothing complicated, uh, but what I'm looking at is just basically two cabinets over here and then you have a center column and then two outside columns. Now the center column is gonna play a, a pretty cool part in this design or in this piece, because uh, it's gonna be hollow down in the middle. So I could drill a hole through the top and then coming through the back, feed all the wires through and I'll drill holes on the inside. So all the holes or the cables can hide within this center column here. So I'm getting ready to start assembling the cabinet parts and uh, we'll go from there. I'm gonna drill some adjustable shelf holes using this little Craig jig, five millimeter bit and a stop collar. I'm keeping the bottom of the jig 165 millimeters off the bottom of the cabinet. And the reason why I went with 165, I might end up building a, uh, a drawer for some CDs. So I figured if I gave myself 18 millimeters uh, spacing for the drawer. There's still enough room here for it to function if this bottom hole was used for a shelf. Okay, pretty uh, straightforward. Just uh, hold the jig and drill some holes. logo in there. People love it when I use Bosch. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, got the Instagram pics, good to go. On this TV console that I'm making, uh, this outside edge, the middle, and this outside edge, uh, making their separate individual pieces, I'm calling them a column, okay? The way that I'm going to make those is I'm gonna make uh, a rabbit along the back so that a piece will fit in along the back side, the back edge of the column. But on the front edge, I'm going to 45. And so I'll have 45 degree cuts on both sides of these. That way, when I put it together, it hides the plies of the plywood. Okay, the rabbits for the back are done. Okay, so this is going to allow this back piece to sit perfectly in there, just like that. Okay, so what I wanna do now is change my router bit from the straight bit that I have into a 45 degree uh, cutting bit. So just to give you, in case you're not familiar, I don't know, maybe you're not familiar, this bit will cut a 45 degree edge on the plywood for me. So this is just a, a test cut. Uh, I always do test cuts whenever I'm setting up a router bit just to make sure my fence is where I want it to be, the height of the bit is where I want. Uh, so after this cut, I can check it out, see if I need to make any adjustments. Okay, test cut I think is uh, pretty good. I think I'm good to go with that. Let me just double check here. And uh, yeah, <laughs> got luck in the first try. Uh, what I, I will do though, just uh, for, my, uh, for my sake, I'm gonna make one more test cut and then put the pieces together and see how well they fit. Yeah, I'm gonna be real happy with that.